Hi everyone, welcome back. This is video number three on our final exam project. So what I'm going to go through right now is a slide presentation on things that you should not do when you create a professional PowerPoint, now we call Google Slides, but it was originally called PowerPoint and there's a reason why it's called PowerPoint. So what should you do and what shouldn't you do and then I'm going to give you the fourth video, which is going to be exactly what you should have in your presentation. So, is that really your PowerPoint basically started because someone turned in a final project that basically just looked like black and white uh, slides that had no pictures, nothing, just lots and lots of words, and it didn't look like a professional piece of work that you should be able to create for the college level. So, some things are wrong on here. Uh, as you, see, you can see, we have one color, then another color, then in one color, then another color. And there's just too much stuff on this slide. There's too much going on. There's no pictures. So the most important thing that you should be thinking about when you work with content is what are you trying to tell your audience uh, we shouldn't have to read everything because you are there to give us information hence the reason why it's called powerpoint you're giving points of information on the screen and you're filling in that information by what you say in your presentation Know what you're going to say. Don't read from the screen. You're going to refer to the information that is on the slide. What's on the slide, those little points of information, are kind of like your starting points to speak about. Being excited about your topic, not being monotone, is something that you worked on for a while, and now you get an opportunity to teach the class something. Tell us what's on the slide. Don't just, like, have a picture and say whatever. Oh, that's the worst thing you can say is whatever. Um, use the ad notes or speaker notes. That will help. I would create a, a document that has all your speaker notes in one place. Oh. So if you look at that top line, the top line looks terrible because you can't see it. Especially if I'm sitting in the back of a room, which is where I'll be when you present. So can you read this print from a distance? Why would you do this to your audience? The minimum should be 30 font, minimum. And then that second line, the color. Why have it so difficult to be seen? Be able to look at it from a distance. So if you have that yellow on that black screen, it looks great. But when you put that maroon and you look at it from the back of the room, it's very, very difficult. So that visual component is gonna be really important. Are there pictures? Write less, but say more. Again, every bullet point is your starting point for conversation. The pictures should be appropriate and help you better understand the topic. And notice I keep changing the slide background. Please don't do that. This is annoying when things just keep coming in and out and in and out. So you don't want to do a lot of flash because it's distraction. So you want to save flash for something really important. Make your point, not a scene. Again, you want to get your point across rather than people being distracted by things bouncing around or whatever it is. And be careful with typos. Say, so is there a typo here? Well, when you have an abbreviation, it's always apostrophe S for plural, which is, I don't know, that's just the rule. Uh, so that's a typo. The verbal. We don't want you just sitting there reading a slide or standing there reading a slide. We can read. Again, there shouldn't be a lot to read. And if it's too small, why is it too small? The slides are free. Make as many slides as you need. 
You shouldn't be staring at the screen. You should be looking at the audience or me in the back of the room. Work on pronouncing words that are difficult to say. Again, whatever that is, is the worst thing you can say during a presentation. Don't write continue. Just write the same title. Don't speak too quickly. Don't speak too softly. Make sure we can hear you. I know you are all loud enough to be heard across the room. I know you can do it. Be prepared to answer questions. You want to be confident in your responses. You want to be confident in your presentation. You don't want to be arrogant. Because sometimes, you know, yeah, we missed it. We missed something. So just, you know, bring it back. Notice I keep changing the bullet points. Avoiding things like like, um, okay, is not an easy thing to do. Take a pause. The more you practice, the easier it'll be to avoid what we call interruptive fillers. Think about what you want to say. Take a pause. People are a little worried about having that empty time, that empty space with silence, but it's okay. Pause. Not use terms like um, like, and okay, which we do all the time. When a professional presentation, you want to avoid it as much as possible. So some things that I'll say, you are the presentation. The slides, the PowerPoint is your reference point. Those are your speaking points. Things kind of keeping you on track of things you have to talk about. You're the verbal part. The PowerPoint is the visual. So the PowerPoint should be things that we're looking at in terms of important words, pictures. But when you have too much verbal and too much visual, it's just overwhelming. So cut the verbal on the slides. Put the verbal in what you say. Put the visual, the important terms, the important pictures on the slides some things to remember. Practice. The more you practice, the more confident you'll be. Record yourself. Practice in the mirror. Practice to your friends. The more you practice, the better you'll be. You're going to run through it. You're going to check four. What are you going to check? Make sure your content is solid. That's where most of your grade is going to be. How does that visual presentation look? the verbal adjustments, being able to practice it and not use um, like, and okay. Are things on there appropriate? Again, does it fit with the topic that you're covering? And that is pretty much it of things that you should avoid. And the last uh, video that I'm going to show you are things that you should do. So again, uh, please look through this. This again will be on Google Classroom for you to refer to so that if you missed anything, you can always go back and take a look. All right. Thanks.